Hey guys, these are my predictions for the 2016 AQA B3 paper. I'm not an examiner. I don't know any inside secrets. I don't know definitely what's going to come up on the exam. So please, please, please revise absolutely everything. But what I have done is sat down with the past papers, sat down with the exams reports, and really, really thought about things. So this is what I think is going to come up on this year's paper. But please remember to revise everything really, really thoroughly. So, we know in biology they love the experimental questions, giving you loads and loads of graphs to analyse, looking for patterns, looking for patterns or differences between two lines on a graph. Hopefully you're really, really experienced doing this. But don't forget the other smaller things, like working out your averages, looking for anomalies, looking for patterns, your intervals, your ranges. They could also ask you lots about this. They could ask you how to do some of the experiments that you've come across in B3. Or they could ask you to analyse some data and if they ask you to analyse data don't forget to use examples from the data they give you in your answer because this is the sort of thing the examiners like to see, it's what they're looking for. Another big trend that I've seen is the introduction of lots of ethics questions. Now this could come up in a number of different ways in B3. It could have something to do with farming methods or fisheries, um, maybe factory farming as opposed to free range farming. Lots of different areas they could ask about that. Not only could it do with farming, but it could have something to do with organs, so like um, use of artificial valves or pig valves in the heart. Last year there were lots of short questions, so I think it's going to be different this year. I think they're going to go the other way. So in addition to your big six mark question, I would expect there to be maybe a five and maybe a couple of fours as well. It's slightly unusual to have a lot of short questions. I would expect them this year that they're going to get you to write a lot. Now the top they could get you to write a lot on are anything to do with homeostasis or osmosis. These lend themselves really, really nicely to long written questions. Anything to do with plants. So cells, organisation, the tissues, the structure, leaves, Anything to do with plants lends itself really well to a four mark or a six mark question. So does food chains and how energy is transferred along that. My favourite topic for a six mark question this year is the heart. Now, this is a tricky topic because there's loads of stuff they could bring in here. But it's a really, really interesting and a really, really important topic. Make sure you know this really, really well. So we're talking about not only the heart, but the whole cardiopulmonary system. So the heart and the lungs, how they interact with each other, what they do for each other. Everything that goes into the heart, so the blood and all the different components of the heart, how blood glucose is regulated, all the different organs that are involved in your body, all the different organs that are involved in homeostasis. There's loads they could ask you about this. But the heart in particular has a lot of questions they could ask you about it. So the structure and the function, I have this really stupid way of remembering how blood flows through the heart. I'll make you a little video and explain it. It's really stupid. Not only the structure and function, but how problems that could come up with it, the ethics behind fixing problems that could come up with it the cells and the organisation in it. So, B3 is quite a, a complicated topic, there's a lot in there for you to revise, and I know you guys have been working really, really hard. I'm really proud of this, the comments I'm seeing from you, I can tell how hard you are working, and how dedicated you are to this. So, anything you want me to help you with, leave a comment down below, and subscribe so you don't miss anything. Good luck guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests or to deal with the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Connors or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.